Do you need storage for your shop or a closet, your basement, or maybe you just wanna organize some of that stuff in your kid's room? Well, we've got you covered. We're gonna show you how quick and easy it is to customize these flat pack bins for all of your storage needs. Let's get going. So here we are in VCarve Pro. Uh, there are lots of these flat pack files available for free all over the internet. So have a look around there. We happen to have one laying around from the Hamilton Woodworking Show where we carved out some of these bins on the spot and handed them out to people who wanted them. If you haven't done flat pack furniture before, you need to know that dog bones are the cat's meow. <laughs> but they are necessary to making sure that your slots and tabs will fit together nicely. So here I am just messing with the dog bones, making sure that the dimensions of my bins are going to be what I need them to be because I've got a bunch of different bins and a bunch of different needs. If I can give one little tip, it's to measure your material when you are modifying your slots, because if your material isn't the same spec as mine, the slots are gonna be too big or too small and neither one of those is very good. So measure your material, make sure you adjust those slots for the right dimensions and you'll be flying. The tool paths for this project were pretty basic. Uh, I used an eighth inch down cut end mill. I know people are always yelling at me to use compression bits and I probably should have, but Maybe that'll be for the next one. For this one, save my tool pads and we're off and running. Speaking of bits, if you need any bits for your CNC, no matter what machine you're using, check out the store, cnc.com. We got all your CNC machine needs and accessories right there at your fingertips. You can see right off the bat, these first couple of cuts, the <laughs> material wasn't as rigid or I guess as flat, uh, or maybe my work holding was a little lacking. Uh, but the, the, the material is pulling up a little bit with some of these cuts. So we decided to pause the job, drop in a couple of screws just to hold down some midpoints. Um, we we're fairly certain that the bit wasn't gonna cut through them, but you know, it's always, you know, CNC roulette, but let's see what happens. For some reason, I did two passes for each one of these cuts, which when we started cutting it out, I actually was really annoyed, but I was too lazy to restart the job. Um, I could have done these cuts in single passes, and um, in the future, I absolutely will. In the ever searching quest to get the best footage for you guys possible, we obviously weren't using dust collection, so, you know, I turned into a three-year-old when we aimed to actually clean up the project at the end because, you know, there was enough suction for my dust collector that it was whoop, grabbing each piece as they popped up. So you might be able to hear me giggle in the background there. I had a little bit of fun. It's what it's all about. You gotta have foam in your carbon stuff. If I would have been paying closer attention, I would have sorted these um, as I took them out of the sheet, but I didn't, so I got to play Jigsaw Puzzle for a second. No matter, we got there, we assembled everything, bingo bango, some amazing, very easy to make, very useful flat pack storage bins to store my stuff. Don't forget, you can download these files for free. Click the link, you'll find them there modify them to your heart's content, and enjoy the freebie that we handed out to you. There you have it. Easy, quick, cheap, customizable. What else can you ask for? If you've got a project that you want to see us cover, let us know in the comments down below. We'll add it to our list. If you found this helpful, and even if you didn't but you liked what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got all kinds of awesome stuff coming out regularly for you, the CNC are out there. And until the next project, we'll see you around the CNC.